This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. The next one that I tried was Rico Magic Lubuntu, and that one worked pretty good, but it still wasn't my favorite. They made a couple of changes and some upgrades and whatnot, and I was just like, I just want, you know, normal Ubuntu. You're just Why like, can't I have that? You're just that? like vanilla. You don't like different window managers? Yeah, exactly. You like Unity now. If you mix it up and you, like, throw in nuts with the brownies, yeah. I, I don't like it anymore. You've been using Unity for a while. It's grown on you, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. I like Unity, and I I'm not afraid to, to say that. I, I switched to GNOME 3, and that's just where my heart is See, right now. See, I mean, everybody has their own opinion, and that's okay. That's the cool thing that about Linux. Okay. In fact, we're in, which one are we in right now? Yeah, so this is Mini and Ubuntu uh, 12.04. So this is the pretty much the newest, up to date, the best one, and it is personally my favorite because it's just like the Ubuntu that I use on my laptop that I boot into. So it's very, very nice, and you can do a lot of the normal commands that you can usually do. For example, um, this one is mini and the password. You can hey. download all your normal packets. So after trying, you know, Puppy and Rico Magic and Lubuntu, I also tried um, Ubuntu 10.0. 04 and 12.04, which is the one that we're using over here. And I did want to mention, you know, 10.04 is great. If you want to use that one, you can. It works fine on this on this little mini Android PC, but I prefer 12.04. That's just me. You know, you can use either one. And also, whenever you purchase one of these micro SD cards, make sure you get one that's at, le at least 8 gigs. Gotcha. Uh, preferably, even if you want to, you could get like 16 gigs because a lot of the installs, the images are really, really big. Hmm. And I also noticed that we did it both ways. We did one where we installed it on the micro SD card using um, Linux, using the command prompt for that. Which is using DD to image yeah, over? Yeah, DD. And then we also did one in Windows using a Disk Imager, I believe it was called. And I preferred Disk Imager just because it had a yeah. taskbar. D so yeah, I can okay. see the percentage. I think we actually just covered this, too, <laughs> uh, recently. There's a, you, you kill uh, TAC USR1. Yeah to the process ID of, of DD. Because, yeah, I, I don't understand why, like, WGET gives you a nice little boop, 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 boop. Yeah. But, but you can't get that with DD. So you, it was kind of can. a pain it's in the butt because I was sitting there for, like, an hour or so, and I was like, come on, how long is this going to take? Wow, how long, no how clue. slow is your SD card adapter? Yeah, which is <laughs> Well, this horrible. is really cool because, I mean, it's just like any other computer. Sudo apt get install whatever you want. I got yeah, IW you just on here now. Whatever you want. And now check it out. I can install w IW. I've got one of the tools that I commonly use. In fact, so what does IW do? I've never used that one. It's just for doing fun wireless stuff, Look. like scanning. In fact, <laughs> I still get the pineapple running, so you see like all oh of God, these, so uh, all of the Occupy pineapple stuff. What's from that middle one? Is segment. that pineapple years? Um, which one? Or is that one? another pineapple? Pineapple 089A. Yeah, no, that, that's that one right there. Oh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's awesome. How fun is that? That's cool. I, I just love the idea that, I mean, it's, what's it's a, a computer? It's a teeny tiny what is PC. a computer? No, what and is it's one? under 100 bucks. What's a computer? Anyway? Paul says, oh, I'm a computer. Oh, I'm a computer. <laughs> but I, I love that because it's like it just kind of blurs the lines of like what's an Android, what's a computer, what's. Yeah, it you really know. does. Like when I was um, I was selling these at DerbyCon, they're like 70 bucks in the uh, in the hack shop. And people would come up and they'd be like, what in the world is this thing? And I'd say, it's Android in a box. Yeah. And they'd say, like, on your cell phone? Said yeah, basically it's it's the same thing. Well, it's ice cream sandwich. I it just got into it is because be on your TV. Cause turned me on to these, and you know that Cause has been oh, doing yes. fun stuff with P2P Him ADB. And his Cause cable. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, so with the P2P ADB, where I can like plug it into your phone, and potentially root you or something. Um, he was saying like, hey, take like a pineapple juice and one of these guys because it already runs for Android yeah. and it's already rooted and it's already ice cream sandwich. So basically, just plug in a a micro cable and mm -hmm. then tie these guys together because it's going to be powered off. Um, mini USB. Okay. So I don't know. I just love the idea of like a little tiny oh. and very cheap and disposable, almost uh, kind of Linux. Ooh, computer. I like it. Hey, that's I really cool. I wonder what kind of crazy stuff uh, everybody else is doing with these. Hit us up feedback at hack5.org. Let us know. Uh, we'd love to hear from you guys. And of course, like I'm already like having a lot of fun playing with weird stuff. Like there's no backtrack on it yet, but basically you can oh, w get. Uh, uh, what about air crack. Air crack? You can just wget yeah. aircrack, compile that guy, make sure to change the C flags um, oh, in the make totally file. We should totally figure but out how to do that yeah, we'll, in the next episode. All right, I like that. Well, actually, Ooh. in the next episode, I'll be back from TorCon, and we'll have stuff Oh, right. That. Okay, well, after yeah, that. After that. <laughs> cool. That sounds awesome. We'll be right back with some questions from you guys. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community-inspired creations. 
Be sure to watch new episodes of The Ben Heck Show every two weeks right here at revision3.com slash tbhs. In the latest episode of The Ben Heck Show, Ben builds his smallest, coolest Xbox 360 laptop yet. Don't forget to go over to element14.com slash tbhs to find out how you can enter to win the latest builds from Ben's show. You know what I actually really like is that there's been a whole lot of awesome development in mm -hmm. Linux porting to ARM and all these different chipsets. The right, reason the MK802 yeah. is so popular is because the all-winner chipset um, has is already built for it, the kernel, uh -huh. but uh, the kernel is already being ported to other of the cooler chi uh, other cool chipsets like the Rock chip and so many others. It's oh, just, really? Yeah. Wow. In fact, this is actually another implementation of that same MK802. And the reason that I love this guy here, aside from the you know regular size the HDMI SMA. and the dual USB yeah. guy, is the ridiculous yeah the RPSMA. So you can be like, <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's my. Uh, my Android TV. Oh yeah, totally. of course. Yeah. <laughs> God. <laughs> Why would you TV ever reception. need that? <laughs> I, I have no idea. <laughs> Tuner reception. Yeah. Split couple on there. Why not? Some bunny ears. There we go. That's what we should do. <laughs> so we got some emails this week? Yes, we did. We got some short ones. Yes, very short ones. Fire so questions. the first one's from Tyler and he said, "Why don't you drink on the show anymore?" Why I do. Don't we? What are you talking about? I'm drinking uh how do you pronounce that? Bernderberg. Ermagerd. Oh oh it's Bernderberg. <laughs> it's like the other night. Ermagerd, laser turn. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, probably because this is the office slash studio, and yeah. I have to drive home, or I guess I could walk home. It's not that far. And now we don't record out of our household, so I have to drive home myself, and we record during the day instead of doing it at night when we were usually drunk anyway. That said, if you meet us at a conference, we'll get down. Those parties are good times. Oh yeah. Heck yes. So the second question came from Nathan, and he said, "What is up with Darren's profane T-shirt from last that week?" Wasn't profane. What did See, you wear? I, I, there was the Milf Island shirt. Oh, it's and I got the a thirty bunch rock. of emails. Yes, I got a bunch it's of emails. It's thirty rock. Google it. Google Milf Milf Island. I guarantee you. It's, it's a parody. One, a real place, and two, hilarious. Have you been there? I've been there. I knew it. You were totally <laughs> the kind of person that would totally go there. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to our tech test. The techno techno photo, the, the techno -less photo the, yeah. of the week comes from Robert, and he calls it his Darth pineapple. It's so cute, and he says that with his Darth Vader lunchbox, it's very easy to conceal in a Darth Vader lunchbox. That totally nice. makes sense. Nice. So the contents include the two-inch foam cut to each slot to secure all the hardware, the Mark IV, of course, two pineapple juices, thank you for supporting us, by the way, the powered USB hub, the SanDisk USB flash drive, and an alpha adapter. Dude, I love the creativity of putting the kiss. I do too. You know what this means, though? Somebody has to put together a, uh, a Millennium Falcon one. If anybody <laughs> has like a plushy Millennium Falcon or something, that I want to see awesome. your mod. That would be Make so them cool. Fight. And if you guys have a Millennium Falcon that's turned into a, I guess, a Jedi pineapple? There we go. A Jedi pineapple, then you can send your picture over to feedback at hack5.org with the subject line Technolest so we can check it out and put it on the show. Now it's time for trivia! Yeah! So last week's trivia question was, the 22 nanometer IV bridge CPU features what transistors? And the answer is the 3D Trigate transistors. This week's question is, why did the A open AX4B5332 motherboard contain a vacuum tube. Hmm. Did it have like a ridiculous amp on it or something? Like, why I else would know. you have a vacuum tube? I mean, vacuum tubes are like hella steampunk. I love that. What's <laughs> the purpose of that? <laughs> hmm. Is it like a hearkening to ENIAC? <laughs> we'll see. So if you guys know the answer, you can answer over at hack5.org slash trivia. You only have to press it once. Don't press it like 10 times. That doesn't, you know, give you a better chance of winning. I'm it, spamming the Google Doc. If anything, it just freaks me out. <laughs> so, and it'll give you a chance to win some Hack 5 swag. Cool. <laughs> all right, well, with all of that, we value your feedback. So we want you to go ahead and hit us up. Feedback at hack5.org. Five, uh, five do, or the half, the half, the, <laughs> Do the, thing where you, do the thing where you email us, and then we'll, we'll get back to you, and, or we'll at least read all of them. Thank yes. you. Yes, and don't forget, you can always follow everything that we do over at hack5.org slash follow. You can find all the links to all of our social networks, etc. over there. Uh, and don't forget the shop if you want to support us directly yes. with the cool stuff we're doing, whether it's any of the Android stuff or the pineapples or the, like if the you MK just want to get yourself, or if you just want to get yourself some stickers. Mm -hmm. and say, we have hey, stickers thanks too. for doing what you're doing. And with we love all that. that. Yes, and with I'm all Shannon that, Morse. I'm Darren Kitchen. Rescue Technolust. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye-bye.
Oh. oh. Are you using Jedi powers? Yes. Oh my god. The force is with me. Turn off signal. No. Main screen, turn on. Cool, we're done. <laughs>